Today, we're looking at an LED light that can give you any color you want and a few iPad apps to make your life easier in post. Welcome to Film Ride, the show that takes the mystery out of the effects techniques. Going to my favorite Hollywood films. I'm your host, Ryan Conley, and I've been messing around with this new 5 inch LED light from Luxly called the Viola, this guy right here. But before we get into it, as I often have to throw out there, we do not get paid for reviews. I'm not making any money off this. And this is 100% my true opinion. But here it is, crazy small, super lightweight LED light that goes for 350 bucks and comes with the light, a ball head, one battery, which is the Sony L-Series type battery, and a charger. If we look on the back here, you see we have the battery mount, power button, mode selector, and a nice and simple LED screen with all our info. Then on the side, we have two knobs. One controls our color, and the other controls the brightness level. And on the bottom, we have a quarter 20 thread for mounting. Now, one of the things that I really love about this light is the two color modes. First is the color temperature mode to match all the typical settings, adjusting from 3000 Kelvin to 10,000 Kelvin. But then we can hit our mode button and swap over to the full color spectrum mode where we can dial in color from zero to 360 degrees RGB. Pretty much any color you'd want, you can dial in here, no gels needed. So at zero degrees, you have red, 60, you're getting yellow, at 120, you'll have green, 180, you're getting cyan, 240 is gonna be blue, 300, magenta, and then all the shades in between. And of course, you can adjust your light level from zero to 100% with no fluctuation in the color you end up picking. Now the light is a harder light, so you can get this diffusion that you can mount onto the front of the light, but it goes for $100, which is a bit crazy. So I personally would just use a regular old fashioned diffusion right on it and skip spending that extra cash. Another really impressive feature that you get with this light is its communication with their free conductor app through its built-in Bluetooth 4.0. Although the app did have some slight connection issues overall, it is really great to have since you can select whatever color you'd want right here, or even sample a color from an image or a video for the light to match. You can also set the light up to do different effects like strobe or fade the light level up and down amongst other effects, including the ability to sync up to six of these lights together to work together on a different effect of your design. And although it's small, it does have an impressive output, definitely enough to be very useful in production, whether that will be dropping it in somewhere where it's a tight space or hiding it in the scene to add splashes of light somewhere needed. I'm a big fan of lights like this that give you the freedom to mount wherever you need to with very little effort. And the massive added bonus to all of that for me is the ability to dial in my color without having to fly in gel. So you can go very stylized with just the turn of a knob. Then grab a few of these and you're even more set. Again, it is a touch pricey for the size light, but the app connectivity and the color possibilities make the price entirely worth it for me. You can find out more details and where to buy in the links below. Now we're gonna take a quick break and then talk about some great apps to use in post-production. and don't say birds. I took your advice. I got a .com from domain.com. Heck, I even got a .net too. <laughs> great job. I always knew you'd be a great space case. You're not kidding. I sure am a space case. What do you mean? I should have been out there helping to find Justin. I'm no good to anybody. Whoa! What's up, guys? I feel like I haven't seen you in a light year. Did you find Justin? You bet your anus I did. I saved him just before that intergalactic space beast gobbled him up. And it's all thanks to you, Josh. Huh? It's true. I didn't think I was any help to anyone. Are you kidding? 
You knew that getting a .com and .net, the two premier domain extensions, was the best way in expanding our presence online. And you knew that getting a .com from Domain.com was the first step in creating a vision for our brand and idea. They are affordable, reliable, and easy to use. And you had the courage to use the coupon code FILMRIDE at Domain.com's checkout to get 25% off your order when you got that domain name, web hosting, and email. Wow. I never thought of it like that. You're a hero, Josh. If it wasn't for you, Justin would have been torn to shreds by that interdimensional space demon. Whoa. Now that's heavy. <laughs> Logo. The new app that I just started trying out is Astropad, which I found out about from Seth Worley. Basically, with this app, you were able to mirror your Mac onto your iPad and control it as a touchscreen. So if you need to do something like masking in After Effects, it's made 1,000 times easier by having a sort of Wacom tablet with a screen. Things already exist in that form, but for a good one, you're talking about close to $2,000, where this app is 30 bucks, and it works incredibly well. Right here in the app, which as you can see, is currently mirroring my computer, we have a menu bar off to the left, which we can select between finger or stylus control. Then we can adjust the size of our brush, swap to eraser or brush, undo and redo, zoom in and zoom out. Then at the bottom, we can swap between draw and move and zoom mode. But now I can paint if needed, but most importantly, mask so much easier. Actually drawing on the image is so much better than using a mouse. And as Seth showed me, it makes using Roto Brush 10 times better too. Since again, you are actually drawing on the image instead of scrubbing with a mouse, it all just feels and works so much better. Of course, this could have excellent functions for design and work amazingly well in Photoshop, but where I see myself using it most is with things like masking that I do so often. Again, that's AstroPad, which goes for 30 bucks. You definitely want a stylist to use this. If you have an iPad Pro, the Apple Pencil is definitely the way to go. If you're on any other iPad, look into it, done it, pixel pressure, links to all that below. And the second app is Control Console, which is an iPad app that can work with Mac and Windows. It basically becomes an extension to Adobe Premiere. Once synced, you can shuttle and toggle as if you were using hardware and to key functions like setting in and out points, adding edits, which is my favorite button ever, and it was worth the $30, which this app isn't free. It is free to download, but to use it for anything other than a QuickTime controller, you are going to have to make in-app purchases. 30 bucks for the full version, which also has a Final Cut controller, and $5 for the basic controller, which is honestly 75% of what you're gonna be using this for anyway. But it doesn't have the magical add edit button that I love so much. But that's really it. It isn't incredibly complicated. It's very intuitive. What you see here is what you get with all the selections, but it really streamlines certain functions and helps making some of the clunkier keyboard moments you have while editing a little less annoying. But again, my two favorite functions are being able to sift through frames frame by frame in the most precise way I've been able to yet and create easy edit points without having to hit hotkeys. It's another app that makes life a lot easier in post, so check out the links below for more info on all of that. Logo. But that's it for today. If you haven't heard, Monday Challenge is back. Check out the last Monday episode for details on that, and I'll see you guys next week when the kids think I'm mean, but I'm really just protecting them from my house. <laughs>